This is James Tierney with Tierney Education. Here is a quick review of three common utility functions and the rules that you want to know in order to find the optimal combination of two goods. Now, I want to make it clear that we are not going to dive deep into the theory. I'll make some other videos that touch on that. But this is for a current student who's studying for a midterm exam. And I like to have my students go through once they do understand, you know, that underlying theory, create themselves some sort of study guide that compares things like we're going to do here. So we're going to start over here on the left with a Cobb-Douglas production function, or I guess in this case, a utility function. So when we have utility equal, it can have some letter A out front, you know, some sort of value. Then you have good X raised to the alpha, good Y raised to the beta. If you are unsure about Cobb-Douglas utility functions, then you can go ahead and do a YouTube search, find some uh, great videos. I'll try and link some. I haven't made one yet, but I uh, will, and then I'll come back and link mine when I get there. So the utility function, the inputs are going to be a combination of X and Y. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, we have a rule, but I'm going to call it a rule. This is... Uh, at the you know underlying, it's that your marginal utility of x over the price of x equals the marginal utility of y, the price of y. However, it's always going to come out to alpha over beta times y over x equals price of x over price of y. So if you know that rule and you know your budget constraint, which the budget constraint is going to be the same, and we're going to show it in all three of these of this budget constraints, the, the idea of this budget constraint is the same where your price of x times the amount of x plus your price of y times your number of y is equal to your overall income or your overall resources. That's what m is here, okay? So what we're seeing is when I combine them, right, you're going to combine them, what you know and what you don't know, your Cobb-Douglas, oh, that's a, not a straight line. Let's draw a straight line. If I have good x down here and good y up here, my budget constraint it's going to be a linear line. Here's my budget constraint. And my Cobb-Douglas is going to look something like this, kind of our standard utility function. And when I combine all of that stuff, if I know, right, if I know what my prices of X are, my prices of Y, my overall income, right, that means I have my price of X, price of Y up here, and I also know my alpha beta, the only thing that's left over is two equations with two unknowns we are going to get that combination, which will be my X star and my Y star. So this will be that optimal bundle. Now, perfect complements, you're going to have a utility function that looks something like this. You're going to have a minimization function where you'll have, let's just say, some alpha times X, uh, some beta times Y. You could also have a constant in front of it, which won't change anything here. Your rule, again, this idea of a rule is like, okay, well, how are we going to uh, combine? How are we going to choose between the two items, right? What's my, um, what's my optimal, what's my optimization rule? And here, you're always going to set alpha x equal to beta y because you know you're always going to have that uh, combination. You're going to have that, that combination. Your budget constraint will be p of x times x plus p of y times y equals m. And again, you're just going to combine these, right? Now, what does this one look like as a review? We have x and y. I'm going to try and do best freehand of a budget constraint. That wasn't too bad, people. There's my budget constraint. And you'll have some point here where your optimal point will fall. And so this will be your Y star, and this will be your X star. Uh, and I do have a video on maximizing with perfect complements, uh, a mathematical example, which I'll make sure is linked. Uh, I think it ends up up here somewhere. I'll make sure it's up here, but also it'll be in the, in the description. Finally, we have perfect substitutes. This is when you have something that looks like, you know, your utility function might be, let's say, alpha X plus or minus uh, beta Y. Now, there are some rules that you can like compare things. The easiest thing for me, and again, this isn't going 
into like deep, deep understanding. And for, you know, the micro purists out there are going to get mad at this video. This is simply just a review document for someone who might be going into an exam who has already studied all of these things. The rule I care about and I tell my students is you say all of X versus all of Y dot dot dot. And basically, which is better? What I mean by that is I'm going to spend all of my income on one of them. If they're perfect substitutes, that means I will never want to have a combination. I want to have all of one and zero of the other. Again, remember, we have our budget constraint. I'm just doing this again because this helps with repetition. PY times Y equals M. And what does this one look like? Well, if you remember from your class, hopefully you remember from your class, right? if I were to give you a budget constraint that looks like this, you might have a utility function that might look like this. And so you're always going to pick that corner solution, meaning that in this case, the one I drew, x is equal to 0, y is going to be up here, some y star. So there you have it. If you can quickly identify if it's Cobb-Douglas, perfect complements or substitutes, and then you know which rule to use for each, you know the budget constraint, you can combine them, you'll be able to find your optimal bundle. Now I plan on making more intermediate uh, micro videos specifically for Econ 302 here at Penn State that'll kind of help students grasp all of this. But this will be a really good review sheet for you going into that first midterm. I suggest you make lots of things like this as you're studying and it'll really help your understanding. Again, I'm James Tierney. I'm located right here in State College. Please like and subscribe and email me with any questions you may have.